Hey YouTube! So I just had another experience with fail camera filming thing. So I decided I had to refilm this vlog because the way that my laptop was sit sitting, my nose was vlogging at you and I was like closer so it was just like my nose was like bobbing along and occasionally you'd see my eyeballs. Yeah, which is a little bit fail. So let's get on with my day. Today I did a lot of things, none of which are really that exciting. I cleaned my roommate's side of the bedroom because apparently she's moving in tomorrow. So you can see her desk is no longer completely and totally covered in soap. But if you look at my side of the room, it's, yeah, not very clean at all. Um... It's a lot more organized than it was before, but really not clean in any sense of that word. That is tomorrow's task. I'm going to attack my side of the bedroom. But other than that, um, today I started on the adventure of watching the best chick flick movies of 2010. The idea behind this is that during 2010, I obviously didn't watch every movie that came out. So I missed some chick flicks, chick flicks people have been talking about and stuff. So I waited and so I wait rather than watching kind of like new release movies unless they're movies I really wanted to see. I wait until like the best of list comes out and I go back and watch them because even if they're movies that I did watch during 2010, at that point I'm ready to watch them again. So yeah. <laughs> Today's video, the one that I watched earlier today, was The Backup Plan, which was a talk, which talks about in vitro fertilization and a woman who then falls in love once she's already pregnant. Mildly excited about that. Mine, it was a little bit of a strange combination, though, because I was kind of just sitting in my bed watching a movie... And I sometimes read when I'm watching movies, and today's reads were feminist literature books. So watching chick flick movies while reading reading feminist, feminist literature is not always the greatest combination. Yeah, but it happened. <laughs> and it kind of worked out, I guess. So other than that, what did I really do today? Not a lot, I don't know. Ate some food, drank some hot apple cider, went to Subway with my boyfriend. Yay! So, yeah, today really hasn't been an exciting day in the life of Debbie. But I said that I would make... It's one... If I did have a New Year's resolution, it would be to try to get back into making daily vlogs. However, not really exciting my life happened to have been that day. So, looking at the wacky holidays for today, today is International J.R.R. Tolkien Day, which is really exciting, and for those of you who don't know, that is the author of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, as well as the Silmarillion, The Hobbit, and a couple like, of the Unfinished Tales, and things like that. So, that's who that is. <laughs> and... If you look at the weekly holidays, something that I found interesting is I realize it's the beginning of the year, but all of the weekly holidays are kind of really, really similar. It's like, it's just, it's the end of make a New Year's resolution to stop smoking week. There's also diet resolution week. Make a resolution to be quieter, national lose weight week, and feel great about yourself week. It is also New Year's resolutions week. And something we'll laugh about later week. So yeah, everything's really like about making resolutions and goals and doing things we'll remember in life and stuff. So that's a little bit daunting. As you guys know, I don't really make New Year's resolutions. It's never been something I've been good at keeping. But something that I do do was I made a 365 days and 30 ways goal video last year on the 10th of January. 
I have an update video that I will likely post on either the 8th or 9th of January this year, letting you know how I did with last year's goals. No, I did not complete all 30 of them. But then after that, on the 10th of January, I will be posting a new goal video. <laughs> so my challenge to you guys is to whether you choose to make New Year's resolutions, goals, or do something like 365 days in 30 ways, or even 101 things in 1,001 days. My challenge to you guys is to make goals and let me know what they are in either the comment section below or in a video response. So I hope that you guys all have an excellent day and I'll see you guys on the flip side.